In this series, The Secret Genius of Unexpected Leaders, we look at leaders from fiction, history, current events, and relate their actions to the wisdom in our books. Welcome to episode one of our video mini-series featuring Seth Adam Smith, author of You Unstuck. The leader under discussion today? Ray from Star Wars. The topic of today's episode, what should you do if you get stuck? So uh, Ray is a badass pilot, she's a genius mechanic, and basically she has a lot of marketable skills, which is why it really puzzles me why she's like earning starvation wages, sort of scavenging for desert trash. I'm like, is the employment market really that bad? I can't speak to that. Oh right, Seth is not an economist. What really turns it around for her in the movie, and again, this is a, a spoiler alert, is when the, the robot BB-8 comes into the picture. Uh, she uh, starts to protect this robot. And as soon as she starts looking out for you know, somebody beyond herself, once you step outside of yourself, uh, your, own, your own sphere of what you're used to, once you start looking beyond yourself, um, that's when the real change and the real things start to happen. Like the ostrich on the cover of the book. When you, once you pull your head out of the sand just a little bit, you start to see a world beyond, you know, a galaxy far beyond what, uh, what, is, what you're used to. So can I get myself unstuck or do I need someone else to give a big old yank on my ostrich neck and unstick me? <laughs> um... Well, in, in, I, would, I would think, I don't know what you're going through, Charlotte, but uh, I can only speak about myself. I know that a lot of times, a lot of times, um, more often than not, it's not necessarily for me, uh, it's not necessarily my circumstances, it's more of my approach to my circumstances. So in, in the case of one of my friends um, who's an addiction recovery specialist, he was addicted for decades on really hard drugs, and for him... Overcoming the problem uh, didn't mean ignoring it. It meant accepting it and saying, I'm, and accepting I'm an alcoholic. Then reaching out into like a 12 step program, working with other people, becoming a sponsor, and saying that this is something he would always have to deal with. But if he was helping other people, it became easier to deal with and work with. If you're stuck, look around you. Ask yourself, who is my BB-8? Find someone to help, because the best way to give yourself a hand is honestly to help someone else. Thanks, Seth, for that insight. 